video about Tornado Alley, Cirque du Soleil. Introduction: Tornado Alley is Cirque du Soleil, and it's becoming a major topic among meteorologists. Traditionally, Tornado Alley referred to the Central U.S., Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Nebraska. But the recent studies show that tornado activity is increasing. In states like Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, and Texas, and Kentucky, who are the factors that are driving this shift? Climate change, warmer temperatures, and changing atmospheric patterns are altering where tornadoes form. Gulf of Mexico's influence, warmer waters in the Gulf are fueling stronger storms. That pushed tornado activity farther east. Jet stream changes. The cold jet stream pattern is dipping lower, creating more favorable conditions for tornadoes in the southeast and U.S. Drought in the southwest. The traditional tornado alley region is experiencing more drought, reducing the moisture needed for tornado information. Tornado formation. Tornadoes in 2025. In 2025, tornado activity has been widespread, with over 960 tornadoes reported, far above the national average. The most active areas now stretch from Illinois to Mississippi, well east of the well east of the traditional tornado alley. Some meteorologists argue that tornado alley is now almost Everything east of the Rockies, with tornado season lasting year-round, instead of being confined to spring and summer. This means that areas that historically saw fewer tornadoes are now experiencing more frequent and intense storms. East Coast states affected. The shift in tornado activity has affected. Almost every state east of the Rockies, including several East Coast states, while tornadoes were once more concentrated in the central United States, they are now increasingly common in states like North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, and even parts of Pennsylvania and New Jersey. In 2025 alone, tornadoes have been reported in Delaware and Florida. Showing how widespread the activity has become, meteorologists believe this trend will continue with warmer ocean waters fueling stronger storms that push tornado activity far east. What this means going into the twenty twenty five Atlantic hurricane season, more tornadoes from hurricanes. Hurricanes are increasingly spawning tornadoes as they move inland. In 2024, Hurricane Milton alone generated 46 tornadoes, setting a record for Florida. Higher risk for coastal states: states like North Carolina, South Carolina, and Virginia, which are already seeing more tornadoes, could face stronger hurricane impacts. Federal disaster response changes: FEMA is shifting. More disaster recovery responsibility to individual states, meaning affected areas may receive less federal aid after hurricanes and tornadoes. Above average hurricane activity, experts predict 17 named storms and nine hurricanes, with four major hurricanes, cat three or above, expected this year. Outro: With tornado alley expanding eastward, hurricanes could bring. More destructive tornado outbreaks to areas that historically saw fewer storms. If you're in a coastal state, it's a good time to review emergency plans and stay updated on forecasts. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you all next time.